is Robert Martini. Uh, I'm with the Stair City County Beach Patrol. Um, originally from Stone Mountain, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Uh, that's where I was born, but uh, I've lived all over um, Hawaii and Florida and on the East Coast. What I do is, uh, this is considered uh, paddle boarding, is its traditional name, but a lot of the novice out there, it's called prone paddling. Basically, you're on your belly or on your knees using your arms to propel yourself to the water like a surfboard. Um, it's much faster on your knees than it is on your belly. Um, but uh, stand up paddling, obviously you're standing up with a paddle in your hand and propelling yourself to the water using a paddle, uh, which covers more of a surface area than using your arms. But uh, prone paddling has been known to beat stand up paddlers any day. They're a lot faster and quicker um, prone paddling than in stand up. And probably when I was in Hawaii, uh, one of the lifeguards down there would be paddling and stuff. And he let me try it when I got out of high school when I was 18. Um, moved there, lived there for seven months, and um, I thought it was really cool. It kind of got me started into it, and I started lifeguarding um, on the East Coast, the Gulf Coast. Um, I, I just really, really enjoy it and really like it. And, and the whole community of uh, watermen together uh, is awesome. Everybody's behind you 100%. Uh, East Coast guys, uh, West Coast guys, they're totally, totally cool. They really help help me out a lot uh, with better techniques and how to be faster and stronger. How to be you know one of the top paddlers in Florida. One of my strengths is to be my endurance. Um, I can go forever at a long pace, at a, at a very quick pace, for a long period of time without getting tired or fatigued. Uh, I've trained my shoulders so they can't feel any pain until about mile 18 or 20. That's when my shoulders start fatiguing a little bit. Um, so I build up a tolerance for that. Uh, one of my weaknesses would be with the board uh, would be when it's uh, cross chop conditions um, when you can't really tell which way the current's really going and it's very very difficult uh, the board has a hard time responding in um, any type of uh, choppy conditions um, other than that that would be one of my weakness with uh, prone paddling. Uh, I paddled the whole coastline of Sarasota County uh, from Longboat to Inglewood Beach uh, it took me eight hours one minute uh, to complete the 36 mile paddle. Uh, one of my partners uh, in the paddle was uh, Abe Uccello. Uh, he paddled the 36 miles with me as well. Uh, together we raised uh, $4,000 for the Junior Lifeguard Program, which uh, helps out kids between 9 to 17 to let them know what lifeguards do for a living. Uh, uh, also teach them about water safety. We teach them about lifeguard competitions that are nationally and worldwide known. And we also taught them um, about surfing, paddling, swimming, uh, running, uh, how to be more proficient at that, and also tell them about, uh, uh, about the environment and how important it is to conserve um, energy and uh, take care of the beaches and the water so they're more educated towards that. Uh, well, I'm getting back into race season form. Um, I got uh, Florida State Paddleboard Championships in two weeks, so I'm, I've been averaging about 24 miles uh, paddling a week. So I'm in the water about uh, four out of the five days I work, and on my days off I'm doing strength training at the gym and uh, doing land stuff, uh, running and uh, going to the pool to swim to build up uh, my shoulders and strength. I really enjoy it because it's, uh, you're out there, I usually go about a mile to two miles offshore, and uh, it's so serene out there, you're away from everything, away from the hustle and bustle of uh, know urban life and uh, you're out there with the environment with uh, dolphins, sharks, uh, stingrays, uh, so serene, so surreal and how powerful these creatures are when you're pretty much small little speck they're, they can swim right by you so quickly and, and that's what I really enjoy is just uh, being with the animals in the water and, and just chilling out with them and seeing from their perspective how they live their life. I have to say, uh, to get into it, uh, you know, just find the right board. Um, I mean, it took me forever to uh, get a board like this, but, uh, you know, there's boards out there uh, you can easily afford, and I would, the best tip I would say, you know, just get the, the right board and just, uh, you know, hammer it out, try to get used to it, uh, balancing on it. It's very difficult to balance on these things. They're so narrow. Um, and you know, if you really, really enjoy it and you really want to excel at being a waterman, which is my dream's always been like to be a true traditional waterman, uh, you know, this is a, definitely a sport to get into. Uh, it's very traditional, it goes back, you know, 
two, three thousand years old when the Polynesians first introduced paddleboarding. My name is uh, Robert Martini, and uh, I'm the athlete of the week for uh, paddleboarding. And what we're going to do today is uh, this is the paddleboard. I'm going to show you how to balance on it. Uh, basically, you can either prone paddle, which is lay on your belly, quite easy to do, not a big deal. Or you can go knee paddling, and knee paddling is just going to get up on your knees. Very, very tipsy, so you want to keep your knees very wide, like your shoulders. And pretty much, just to be able to stay on the board properly, uh, you want to use momentum. Like anything else, you use momentum that's able to keep your balance. So we're going to go ahead and start using our arms to paddle ourselves through the water.